gusto ko lang kayo bigyan ng aking konting um, background to ko sa akin. Um, way back 2012 po ay napunta po ako dito sa Middle East, Dubai. 2012 po. So, so ngayon is 2019 na. 7 years na po ako dito. So, nauna ko po natutunan dito sa Dubai is um, na i-discuss ko din po is natutunan ko dito sa aking mga kabaltada na nag-umpisa dito sa Dubai is hanggat nakikita mo ang metro, hindi ka madilikang. Hanggat nandiyan ang metro, hindi ka madilikang. Hanggat abot tanaw mo ang metro, hindi ka madilikang. So, for today's vlog, I'll be discussing po about ang pinaka card na dapat ang hindi nawawag dito sa inyong wallet at inyong note card. So, keep on watching. So, without further ado, I uh, will be discussing now card. What is now card? Understanding now card. So, ito po yung small card na used for transportation here in Dubai. Sa so, mga buses, metro, buses, tram, yung mga train na yan, yung um, mga buses, ah! yan. Pwede din siya pambay ng parking, mga paid parkings dito. So, ito ay meron din siya mga equipment sa ibang country like for example uh, sa Hong Kong equivalent niya is yung Octopus sa Taiwan yung Easy Card sa Singapore yung Easy Link tapos yung sa Manitoba ito yung tinatawag na Peco Card tapos sa may Toronto naman yung Presto Card So, ayan So, dito naman sa Dubai yun yung tinatawag natin na No Card So, yun So, ano ba ang red card? So, ito yung paper-based ticket that can be bought from any ticket vending machine at any time for only 2 AED. This can be loaded up to 10 single trips. Currently, this ticket can only be used on one mode of transport at time. Pwedeng metro or pwedeng bus only. Ang next card naman ay ang silver null card. Ito yung tinatawag na Perfect Starter Card. So, this one is a smart card with an e-purse that can be loaded with up to 1,000 for non-register and 5,000 after registration. The price po ng null card is 25 dirham with e-purchase 19 dirhams value at saka kaya nyo nang i-enjoy ito using all modes of transportation so may mga e-features din siya it's automatically calculate the cost of your trip and deduct it from your e-purse valid on all modes of transportation you can get it for a low price and use it immediately and it is valid for 5 years But wait, there is more. Pwede din po natin itong gamitin sa mga plan for 7 days, plan for 30 days, and plan for 90 days, and 360 days. Ang tanong is pa paano. You just need to go po sa mga ticketing offices at namaya din po i-discuss ko sa inyo. Ang next sabi niya is ay no gold card. Ito ay tinatawag na travel and luxury and comfort. Ito ay isang anonymous card na katulad din ng silver card pero ang ano nito, ang privilege nito is makaka-access ka sa gold class seats for a premium pair. 
Pero kung sasakay naman po kayo sa mga buses using this card, ito ay i-charge lang po kayo ng regular fare, not a premium fare. Ang price po nito ay 25, included na po yung 19A purse value. Ang lang sila ng features ng silver card, pero makaka-access ka sa gold class seat. Ang downfall lang nito is doble ang bayad. Lastly, yung null personal card or yung blue card. Ito po yung tinatawag na secure and personal card. Ito ay ang personal smart card with an e-purse that can be loaded with up to 5,000. You can use this card on all modes of all transportation. Ang price po nito ay 70 ED with 20 e-purse value. Sa 70 po na yun, included na yung card sa kakorin. So, there is key features also same like silver null card. They have also security and balance if your card get lost, stolen. Meron din siyang photos, owner photos. If you are a student, senior citizen, or disabled, you can enjoy having special fares then for this. So, isa pa natin dapat malaman ay ang Dubai ay divided in 7 zones.
365 days naman pass nga is 2,120 for 1 zone, for 2 zone is 3,540, and then yung also is 5,340. Ayun, tapos, um, may mga questions din dito na, ano, for more details pala, for more details, for fair, si to the fair section of the handbook, na dadaunan nyo din siya. So, now that we put it sa Q&A portion. Question and answer na tayo is, may question dito na. May question dito na, where can I buy and pop up my mouth? So first is you can buy and tap up your null card at the ticket, as ticket office, some ticket vending machines in RTE to authorize, uh, authorize sales agents like um, Maricor and sila din po. And the, there are ticket offices in all metro stations and all bus stations. Ticketing vending machines are available in all metro and bus stations also some bus stops and other popular places such as shopping malls and airports. So, second question natin is, can I travel by bus, metro, and tram with the same card? Yes po, definitely you can travel with the same card. A null card can be used on all modes of travel. So, so third question is, how can I top up my card? You can top up your card using your using cash, credit cards, or debit cards or debit cards. Fourth question is what is the minimum and maximum balance allowed on a null card? So as of November 11, 2014 po, ang minimum balance equivalent of fare up to this date po is 7.50 their house. Lagi po siyang min tapat meron lagi siyang may maintaining, maintaining balance sa 7.50 for silver and gold po. The maximum balance you can start a null card all card gold or silver card is 1,000 dirhams po. And that po yung nabanggit natin sa kanina. So, fifth question ko, how can I check the remaining balance on my card? The balance of your card will be shown when you check in and check out po. Tagi pong tatandaan, dapat po tayo mag-check in at mag-check out kasi pag nagkaroon ng check in, makafine mo kayo ng talaga ng 210 dirhams. Ayan, for metro, ewan ko lang kung ano yung bagong mga ano yun, yung mga bagong fines nila, pero for as of before, 210 dirhams. Ayan, uh, metro or bus thing. You can also view it from any ticketing machine, vending machine, ticks of in ticket offices in a tarday sales agent. With the no, dun sa ni no card, blue card nyo, meron siyang, y meron siya di mga messages na marireceive ka din, pwede mo din i-search siya www.nol.ee So, pwede mo din siyang tingnan online. Kailangan mo lang yung numbers. No? So, next question. Will the NOL scheme enhancement affects my current card? Current NOL card holder continue using the existing NOL cards paying the new fares that come into effect on November 11, 2014. You are also eligible for new travel products and benefits such as a higher e -purse. Mm -hmm. What are the new cards available? May mga bago po tayong cards. Actually, a personal versions of no card gold. Yun yung pinakabago niya. Yung no card gold. A social upper no card and a new senior resident card have been introduced na po. What is the next question? Is what, what is the new personalized no, no gold card? It is the new personalized no card. No gold card is similar sa no card na blue card. However, it allows the card car holder to travel in a gold compartment compartment where available. So, ayun. So, question. Back question pa. How long does it take to black a card? Pag nawala ito, it takes up to 48 hours. 
to block a personalized card or a personalized anonymous card. Is there a balance protection feature? Yes, there is. The existing balance protection feature has been renamed anonymous card registration. Pay a fee of 30 and your fee purchase will be protected by a blacklist in your card if it is lost. Once you register your card, you can then purchase no products on it. And you and your e-purse can be tapped up to maximum limit of 5,000 yung nabanggit kanina. But not unregistered pa siya, maximum 1,000. Pero pag-registered mo na siya, is maximum limits na is, na pwede mong ma-tap is 5,000. How do I personalize my anonymous silver or or gold no card so paano mo ba visit nyo po yung www.nol.ae keep your null card and emirates id also go to null e-card service and select apply to personalize your card option then i-follow nyo lang po ang instruction sa online form on the online form so yun po so for for registration, ang kailangan po natin dito is uh, first name, middle name, yung pangalan po natin, mobile number, Emirates, Emirates ID, date of birth at gender. So, that's it for more. Yan, meron po pala dito mga do's and don'ts din pala. So, do keep your no card in protected pouch palagi po. Ensure you check out to avoid getting overcharged. Make sure your null card or ticket has sufficient balance for always. If your null card is rejected, the reader wait until the indicator light stop flashing, then try again. Ensure your null blue card is not used by anyone else. Nakakarga ng fine niya. If you lose your null blue card, call RTA service at 800-9090 immediately to report the loss. Yung mga don'ts natin is Hold more than one null card over a reader at the same time. Wag po natin kasi mag magkakaroon ng multiple cards ang sinasabi pag nag-tapot pa tayo, pag nag-punch in tayo, or nag-punch out tayo, nag-out at in tayo. Hold your null card too quickly over a reader as this can lead to an incomplete transaction. In such cases, hold the null card. Again, over the reader as you until the transaction is complete. Bend, write, on scratch, tap, cut, or paste sticker or photos on your null card. No, 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 din po siya. Put your null card in your back packet as the microchip on the card can be damaged when you see it. Ito po yung mga do's and don'ts natin yan. Sana po ay yung uh, may mga natutunan po kayo sa i-dinis class. So, yun po. Maraming um, salamat po sa pakikini. Thank you very much. Enjoy your watching again. And, um, keep updated po. Subscribe sa aking channel. And, um, please have a thumbs up also po if you like my videos. If hindi naman po, ayos lang po. So, I'm going to the end of the Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.